everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Sidewalk Chalk Zoo Animals. Today, we're going to draw a Gen 2 penguin. We're going to start by drawing a large oval. Then, we'll draw a smaller circle for the head. Next, we'll need to draw its wings. Penguins have two wings on either side of their body. Now, using some orange chalk, we're going to draw its feet. Penguins have three toes on each foot. And we can go ahead and color those in. Gentoo penguins live as far south as they can bear, on the icy shores of Antarctica, and as far north as the grassy meadow islands of South America. Because of the cold climate, they have smaller wings, feet, and beaks. That's a way they can conserve their energy. Gentoo penguins have a lot of white on their bellies. So you're gonna just draw a line across the top of his chest and connect it to his wings. And all of that on a Gentoo penguin would be the color black. I don't have a black chalk, so I'm using purple today. Like all penguins, Gen 2s have very dense bone structures, which makes them unable to fly. Actually, penguins evolved from flighted birds over 60 million years ago. Their flippers are really their wings that have been modified for flying underwater. These flights can take them 350 feet deep to search for krill, fish, and squid. After coloring in the wings, you'll want to take some white chalk to color in that penguin belly. Does anybody know why penguins have white bellies? Apparently, it has to do with being protected from predators. When they are swimming and seen from above, they disappear in front of the dark blue of the ocean. Their white bellies help them to blend in when seen against the bright sky from below. Therefore, the black and white plumage of their feathers helps penguins to be invisible to predators that might be swimming beneath them. After finishing the belly, we're going to move on to the head. Now, Gentoo penguins have white spots where their eyes are. So I'm drawing circles here. They sort of look like goggles with my purple chalk. Then I'm filling it in with white. After filling in the eyes with white, you'll want to take your purple chalk again to give him some eyes. You can then take your purple chalk to fill in the rest of the head. Ever wonder how penguins stay warm in such cold temperatures? It has to do with their feathers. Penguins have the largest number of feathers per square inch of any bird. After filling in the head, you'll want to take your orange chalk to give him a beak. It sort of looks like a long carrot. Your Gentoo penguin is now complete. Great job, everyone! <laughs> 